Hello and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. Following on from the last video I did, I was asked a question by uh, one of the subscribers, Juan, and he was asking me, is this UPO paper uh, just as good with erasing on Indian ink? And at the time I said I don't know, but I'll do a little video to uh, see how it works. So. This is the paper that we're going to use. If you looked at the last video, all I'm going to do now is take out a sheet, put it up on the board, a couple of little magnets to hold it in place, and we'll give it a test. So I'm using this um, Tim Smith's pre-mixed Indian ink. This is the dark mixture. I'm also using the uh, Iwata CMB which is the custom micron um, the air pressure on this is very minimal which I normally use when I'm using this uh, Indian ink I've got the little valve here on the um, air filter water moisture trap and I turn that down to the point where it's almost stopped so with very little air coming out there pushing that ink. So I'm just going to do a couple of lines and, and swirls and uh, use a little hand stencil and we'll just see how it goes. So we'll just put some lines in to start with. I'll darken it up. Now the first thing I can see is with this Indian ink if I go too quick try and put it in too fast it's starting to uh, kind of pool up a little bit which it does that on normal paper anyway if you try and load it too quick so we'll go a little bit steadier and uh, we'll put in some ink and then we'll put in uh, another spot give that chance to dry okay We'll get this circular stencil in and just put something with this in. Okay. We'll do some dark bits. Uh, obviously I'm using the uh, dark ink so I should be able to go fairly hard with this once each layer has dried. That top bit has pooled a little bit, I don't know if you can see there's little speckles. Laying the ink down really isn't the issue because I know so long as uh, you take your time with this. Make sure each layer is dry. smudge that anyway but I suppose that won't be a bad thing see if we can clean that up okay so I'm going to leave that to dry for a couple of minutes make sure it's well ingrained into the paper and then we'll try and erase it so 
we'll get back to you in a second. Okay so we're back and uh, two minutes went by and I, I tested this it was dry I tested that it was still wet you can see there's a smudge in uh, the circle there so um, four minutes on and we're dry now so what I'm going to use for the erasing tools is the toothpick the eraser the craft knife and the fiberglass pen um, and that's what we'll try so first off we'll go up this top end and uh, we'll try with the fiberglass first and just put a line in there and see what happens okay so that's that's took that off and then we'll use the soft end of the eraser pencil that's not too bad that's clearing a bit better than that one now the hard end okay and then we'll go on to craft knife and last thing the toothpick so on there all those don't seem to be too bad uh, they definitely pull in the ink off I wouldn't say we we're straight back to white paper maybe a little bit with the craft knife so what I'm going to do now is uh, on this one where we smudged it um, I wasn't particularly minded about overspray so I'm just going to see if I can get that white line back you know if you're doing a painting you happen to overspray onto something that you wanted to keep white okay and you can see it's got rid of that overspray and we might as well try this one now and this is where it was darker and we put the smudge uh, from the template on it so I'm just going to clean off the edge of this hard end And then I'll just use this now. Um, okay, so we're not too bad in cleaning up a hard edge. So what I'm going to do then now is on this darker one I'll use these and just see if we can uh, see if we can erase uh, some sharper edges so I know the sharpest edge will be this one so we'll start with this so this is the craft knife You can see 
I can get some fairly fine erasing there, scratching with this thing. Okay, and then we'll try the um, fiberglass pen. Again, that's doing a nice job on the ink. I'll just use So that's the toothpick. I think we're doing okay there. That's not too bad at all. And then maybe uh, And I don't think we need to do the others because I can see now, without doing any more, really, this um, this Indian ink will definitely erase. I wouldn't have a worry about trying this. I always try and keep the eraser end relatively clean so I'll scrub it off on a clean piece of paper and then come back and do it again. Okay, so there we have it. I'll bring you in close, let you get a better look but uh, Juan and anybody else who uh, was wondering about Indian ink and this UPO paper, it's doing a great job. So bear with me and I'll take you in closer. So that's it, just a quick uh, video. I hope you've enjoyed that. If, if you were thinking of buying the paper, you didn't know whether you were going to be able to use it with your Indian inks, then yes, it's definitely doing the job. And just again, before we go, that's what I'm using. You can buy this in thicker, heavier weight paper which I used on that dog and that was an A3 size and it was a heavier sheet and then these ones that I got for the test were um, A4 and I think there's a little sticker on there I don't know if it says 5.95 or 6.95 I don't know but anyway obviously more expensive than the normal paper but the amount of reworking you can do with it as you can see I think is well worth the extra few quid all right thanks for watching I'm Jack this is Airbrush Ways uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and we'll speak to you next time okay bye bye